So hello everyone, this is Aether Nightmare, and welcome to another Halloween demo let's play that I am trying out on my channel. This time we're going with Disgaea 4 Complete. Originally, Disgaea 4 came out on the PS3 quite some time ago, but unfortunately I never really got around to it due to my own busy schedule. This one seems to fit the theme of Halloween quite nicely though, with the vampire motif, so I figured I would start out at the lower numbers instead of jumping all the way up to 7. So. Before we begin, I'm going to go into settings really quickly, and during my uh, audio test, I did notice that the background music was overpowering the voices quite a bit, so I will be turning that down, although in the opening cutscene, I've noticed that there's really not a whole lot I can do about it, so we're gonna work with uh, what we got. Make sure that it's stuck, it appears to be. Last time it asked me to save, so the fact that it isn't doing that now concerns me. Anything else? Cursor mode seems to be good. Happens if I return to reset settings. No. I said no. Okay, we're good. Let us begin. Since the dawn of time. Humans have always feared the darkness. Vampires, werewolves, zombies, ghosts. Although it differs slightly from culture to culture, people's fear of the darkness has grounded them into living conservatively. In the current world, thanks to wars, terrorism, weapons of mass destruction, accidents caused by human error and daily incidents of murder, Humans have grown to fear the actions of their own kind, even more than the darkness itself. This is the story of a group of heroes who have stood up to fight back against such a corrupted society. Make humans afraid of something other than humans again. Fresh, dripping blood, veins sinking into its skin. Oh, what a splendid life overflows and fills my body. I can feel its power. Oh, the waves of ecstasy. Oh, magical. Are these insignificant creatures known as sardines? You get there, buddy. Valvatoris, an elite vampire who was once feared for being a tyrant. I like seafood too, but not magic, that much. He now spends his life in Hades, the Netherworld's prison, admiring sardines. His werewolf steward, Fennec, who routinely showers his master with praise and compliments. As expected of you, Lord Valvatores. No matter the hardships or circumstances, you are ever the optimist, my lord. <laughs> Listen to this, Fenric. Sardines are the most ideal food because they are full of nutrients, like omega-3 fatty acids. In other words, they cleanse your blood, prevent various diseases, and help you to burn more fat. I've been here for quite some time, but I never knew these cheap sardines possess so much potential. And one should never underestimate the studies that are conducted in the human world. There is no doubt that my body is benefiting from these sardines' nutrition. This is evolution. My body is truly evolving since the time I was credited as being a tyrant. What, did you have an unhealthy diet back then? The fact that you don't even acknowledge it as a degeneration is one of my Lord Valvatoris' many formidable powers. The power to disassociate? Care for another to enhance your evolution, my lord. One heck of a sardine. It's huge. This one looks rather juicy and delicious. Wait a second. Was it not a sardine? Did you bring your tuna? Yes. Is there a problem? Well, that's a small tuna, to be fair. Rick! Once again, you have attempted to sneak this into my meal. The blood of humans! As expected, my lord, you saw right through my deception. Of course! 
Never doubt a man by his sense of smell. I only meant it as a gift to my master, who has lost his power due to a foolish promise that he made in the past. Since you can't abide breaking promises, I figured it would be prudent for you to imbibe it unintentionally. Do you disapprove? How many times do I have to tell you? A proud demon like myself would never break a promise. A demon's promises are supposed to be sacred. They're contra... I admire that you have retained your values as a demon, even after you lost your powers and fell to Hades. Hello, Thalmatoris! All of the Britneys have been gathered! Please come to the Pretty Factory! You, Pretty! Repeat what you just said! <laughs> I, I only asked you to come to the factory! Ooh. You forgot to include dude in all of your lines! Oh yeah, he did, didn't he? Pretty rule number one! You shall always include the word dude in every line you say! It's mandatory? It's not a quirk? <laughs> I thought it was a verbal tick. Too late. We start over from level one. No, not level one. Do you have an idea how much grinding these games take? Level one printy task: scrubbing the toilet. Can't even master the basics. The quality of the human souls is decreasing by the day. That is why. That is why I have to do this. I vowed to become a printing instructor the very day I fell to Hades because I knew that was my true call. What an impressive ability to overwrite his memory of losing his power and being forced to take the least wanted job in the netherworld. This is another one of his formidable powers. He can convert any suffering that he's been through into something positive. Sounds like you can do it too. Way too good to be a lowly, pretty instructor, my lord. Someday, I, Fenric, will. Let's go, Fenric. It's time to fulfill our duty. Episode 1 Rebels of Hades. Yeah, unfortunately, the volume is still going to be a tad off. Just because I think the audio levels and the music levels in here are fused, so I can't separate the dialogue from the uh, music at the moment till later. Before we get going, I've gathered some support forces to help you with your tasks. At least I think so, anyway. I didn't test further beyond this. These people will come along and follow you as pretty instructors in training. I'm a fighter, a warrior. Physical attacks and close combat are my specialties. Pleased to meet you, my lord. Skull, a magician. I'll take care of the magic attacks. Nice to meet you, my lord. I'm a healer, a cleric. I'll support you with my healing powers. Thank you for having me, my lord. Very nice, Fenric. How very considerate of you. I was worried that I wouldn't be able to handle my job adequately with the steady increase of new prunies. Well now, neophytes. As a fully-fledged pretty instructor, pay attention to the leadership and follow in my footsteps. Fighter, Red Skull, and Healer have become your followers. I'm pretty sure Red Skull is like fire magic. Oh, one more thing. I have good news for you, my lord. What is that? Please take solace, my lord. We have caught the sardine thief. Like, I was gonna say, I don't think it's a cat. This is the most excellent news, Fenric. The fight for the sardines has finally come to an end. Hmm. As punishment, this one must work for me for free forever. Yes, my lord. Damn it, this is like a living hell. It's it's literally hell, honey. Cat Saber, the sardine thief, was forcefully enlisted into following you. Now. Let us proceed, everyone, to the Pretty Factory! Okay. I recognize you from 
somewhere else. That's right, there's other demons that exist around here. Can I interact with the chest? 100 hell. That's our currency. Presidential campaign tips. Campaign? Why is it too? First issue. Here we will post bits of knowledge and techniques to help run the corruptment. Corruptorment. Sounds like our government. It'll get updated every so often, so come by periodically to check. Some things are more important than taking care of printies. Hades is like the Netherworld's rehab center with a prison and printy detention center, but everyone roams free, so I'm bored. Unlike you prison guards, we're busy. Not to mention the number of printies is increasing. If you're bored, why don't you come help my lord? No, I'm not interested in training printies. Do you say anything else? Everything I know about fighting and watching prisoners stroll around, I learned from Master Rodney. Whoa, sorry there. We're still preparing. Okay, this is gonna be item shop. Ask me anything about weapons. Even though I only have a few topics I can talk about, my knowledge comes in handy. About human weapons, monster weapons is... What is weapon mastery? About human weapons. Human weapons are only equipable by human type units. Which weapon do you want to learn about? Uh, I think this goes into like more detail, but I can probably figure out mostly by myself. Ask me anything about weapons. Monster weapons. Types are two types of characters you can befriend. Humans and monsters. Human type characters can equip seven different types of weapons. Fists. I guess more like a brass knuckles. More like sword, spear, axe, bow, gun, and stuff. Monster type characters can only equip monster weapons. There's no choice of forte for monster weapons, but depending on the type of weapon, the stats are different. One is for close combat types, which increases attack power, ATK, and accuracy, HID. If the other ones for magic types, which increase attack and intelligence, and also a one panel range of magic. Look at the monster types and characters traits and equip the weapon that is most fit for them. Okay, I, I feel like this game, I'm trying to remember the trailer from like 10 years ago, did something with like monster fusion, perhaps? You're just a pretty instructor, G. Don't act like you're all important or anything. Your sidekick is just messing with your head. Don't press your luck, G. Who are you calling a sidekick, you rotten mushroom? I am Lord Val's loyal steward. Make that mistake again and I'll kill you. You didn't deny the part about you messing with your master's mind, do we? Very sorry, we're still preparing. Please wait a little longer, so armor, weapons. This one looks like Power Ranger. I'm a pretty instructor too, so I thought I'd do the same as Fenric and call you Lord Val, but then he got super mad at me. Of course, the only person in this world who is allowed to call my master Lord Val is me. Remember that if you want to live. It was just a lighthearted joke, right, Lord Val? I'll kill you! So, I have a very possessive werewolf. I'm the data shop, but I'm still getting ready. I'll be done by the time you enter the campaign HQ, so come back later. Welcome. From here, you can watch all the events that you've seen this time around. Ah, uh, movies. You can watch your favorite events, or go back to the event that you had to skip, or do whatever you like. You can also watch the episode previews, or watch the demos, if that's your thing. So please, just have fun. Nope, I've already seen it. We don't need to see it again. I like that it has it, though. Way more games need to do this. Please. I'm gonna graduate soon, dude! I'm so excited! In the netherworld, you'll be thrown around just because your master feels like it, and you'll be treated like a doormat. And your master will probably take all your money and blame every crime on you. I hear there's bullying from high-class demons, too. Maybe I don't want to graduate just yet, dude. You used to be a tyrant, weren't you? Pretty instructor is a bottom-rung job. How can you stand living like this? I made a province to the warden. Uh, you're a strange demon to be keeping promises to the warden like that. Oh, okay. I thought it was maybe to a human, but apparently it's a warden that's down here? As long as you're here, we'll continue to work hard, dude! I wouldn't even mind staying in Hades forever, dude! Don't be stupid. Hurry up and graduate from Hades so that you can pay for your sins. Ah, dude! I'm very sorry, dude! Yeah, they basically, if you're unfamiliar with this Gaia, which I mostly am too, but 
Prinnies are the souls of deceased humans that get reincarnated in hell, and once they earn enough of a living by doing the demon's bidding in chores, mostly chores and servitude, uh, they can graduate to be reborn. So that's what the little money pouch is for. Also, they're very combustible for whatever reason. Their outside bodies are basically just a shell. You throw them and they go boom. It's alright, as long as you understand that your job is to atone for your sins. Remember that. There's so much freedom in Hades. I'm living the good life here. I'm thankful that it's better than I expected. Just because you're free doesn't mean you can do whatever you want. A criminal's duty is to atone by reflecting on their crimes. Oh yeah, don't worry about that. You don't have to tell me. I'll reflect on it all the time. Hmm. Your attitude certainly doesn't show it. Cell? What? <laughs> I got a... What? I got a cell phone? What in the world? Item. Sardines. Diet... Call in a mid-battle delivery? For a dietitian. Alright. Mr. Valvatores, is it true that you're a vampire but you don't drink human blood? I don't believe it. Hmm, I don't need to drink human blood because sardines provide more than enough nutrition. Do you want one too? So, sardine blood is okay? Well, sardines aren't human. Oh, I see. I didn't do anything wrong, but they locked me up anyways. None of this makes any sense. Then shouldn't you try to prove your innocence? Telling the warden that isn't going to make any difference. I guess the convicts down here are more than just prinnies in training. I'm very curious if the humans of this realm can be reborn as anything other than prinnies. This is going to be the... Basically, the Pokemon Center. Healing. Still getting ready. That's probably gonna be our warp out. Oh, nope, that's, this is. They just made it look bigger than it would. It's probably gonna be new stages and stuff that I am not familiar with. Like I said, I've only made it about halfway through Disgaea 1. I'm more familiar with the anime than I am the game. Played a little bit of Disgaea 2, a little bit of Disgaea 3. Currently preparing. Hold on for just a while. Originally, I did start a Disgaea 1 playthrough, but then my PC literally exploded and took all my data with it. <laughs> and I was at that point, like, too discouraged to come back in. We're still setting up. Please come back later. This is the entrance to the item world. It is currently being set up, so you can't go in. Can you wait a bit longer? So this is gonna be where we're gonna go and do our mass leveling later. Which I think... In this game, you can get up to, like, level 9,999 or something ridiculous, where in past games it was only 999. <laughs> Please select the place you wish to travel to, Lord Valvatores. The Rebels of Hades. Basic controls. After death, the souls of human sinners are sent to Hades. Oh, I guess it's going to explain it for when me. When they arrive in Hades, the Netherworld's prison... They are processed to become Prinnies at the Prinny Factory. The Prinnies go through extensive training in Hades before being sent off to the Netherworld or Celestia. They are to work diligently in a strict and harsh environment until they can pay for their sins. Prinny Law, co the Netherworld. There you all are. You've gathered here just as I ordered. Yes, sir! Just as you ordered, dude! Excellent. Now listen up, Prinnies! Today is your very last day in Hades. You have all died and were sent to Hades. Why is that? Because we committed crimes, dude! That's right. Your lowly criminals. And who educated you peons who didn't even know how to speak like a printy? Lord Valvatores, dude! Correct. I've raised you all to become great printies. So that you can be shipped out to the netherworld at any time. Today is the day you've been waiting for. Today, you will go forth and work hard to pay for your sins. There's one last thing I wish to say now that you have all reached this day. This is the very last lesson or tutorial that I will give you. Press X if you are confident enough. The battle will start immediately. I don't remember how to play. I'll let it uh, just do its thing. Now let the lesson begin! 
I'm going to give you one last lesson today, so listen very carefully. Aye, aye, dude! I'll start with the basics of battle. Anyone can fight a battle, but no one can win without knowing the basics. First thing, bring the cursor to the base panel and press A. Then select a character and press A again to summon them to the battle map. Your back is wide open. If you pick the wrong one, move the cursor over to that character and press B to cancel the command. I'll teach you a lesson. If the map is hard to see, rotate your view counterclockwise with the L or clockwise with R. The fact that it's 3D makes the rotation feel really weird. You can change your point of view by pressing L or R while holding down Y. You'll need these commands for certain maps, so it'll be good for you to take note of this now. Let's learn to give commands to the summoned characters. As you may already know, I like fighting my enemies face to face, therefore I'm moving next to the enemy. When the move is done, select the attack command. That is all it takes to issue commands. Now let us execute the registered commands. Bring up the menu with X and select Execute or End Turn. Execute is if you want just that character to attack, and End Turn is if you want everybody to go who's on the field. That's the flow of actions. Now remember, it's just command, X, execute. Why can't we attack normally? In immediately, dude! Hmm? Because you must also consider team attacks and combos when you battle. Let Fenric and I show you an example of issuing two actions. Come, Fenric! Yes, my lord. Perish. Okay, from behind him, I guess. Wonder if it matters. Oh my god. Does the healer have a bow? Thank god! Whoa! Those were some intense attacks, dude! That was totally awesome! Hmm. And you have team attacks and combos. A team attack can activate when two or four allies are next to each other on the battle map. I guess it doesn't depend on positioning. Combos active when consecutive attacks are aimed at a single target. The longer the combo, the stronger each attack gets. Even my lord would be able to demonstrate up to one millionth of his original power if he utilizes these two actions well. Exactly. Your ally members will take their actions on the order you assign the commands to them. Beginners should keep in mind the best way to connect beautiful combos when they assign their commands. You will not be able to cancel attacks and specials after they have been executed, so make sure you pay attention. Got it? Aye aye, dude! Yeah, the healer being stuck with a stave that they had to get up close and personal with the enemy with if they wanted to gain any experience whatsoever was such a major problem I had with this guy one. Oh, so what would happen if I choose end turn, dude? Hey, if you do that now, you're out on the field by yourself and now it's their turn. Although, seems they kind of suck at their job. Ah! Lord Val Torres! Lord Val, damn you, pretty! Calm down, Fenric. My servant must not lose himself due to such insignificant circumstances. Carelessly choosing end turn may lead to these kinds of troubles. Keep that in mind, pretty. Okay, dude! Sir Fenric would kill me for sure if I did that again, dude! Even if you're defeated, you could be revived at the Hades Infirmary. So we won't be dead forever, huh? What a relief, dude! However, you will need to pay to be revived. Make sure you work hard enough so that you'll be worth reviving. It'll be game over if all of your summoned ally members are defeated. However, you can re-challenge any map after losing, so feel free to use that low-level printy. You can review this lesson by going to Tutorial from the main menu. That's all for the first part of the lesson. Now it's time to train in an actual battle. Everyone get into position. Okay. Select units with A, I suppose. Where is... 
Brace yourself. They said next to each other, but yeah, okay, we attack with diagonals like this. I got this. Let's go face to face for you. I love how a lot of these are named after plants. That was a joke I originally started in Disgaea 1, not realizing that it was an actual thing. <laughs> then I started playing um, little things like uh, the pretty games, and it yeah, validated my gag. Ooh, I can choose... How do I tell which one's which? This one. I'm just gonna enter. And I know there's more characters, but I feel like I'm gonna be overkill. Choosing a printy just because I can't hardly tell who's my printy. You attack that. Can't. Let me rotate. That used to be an on. Switch controls. Nope. Let's move just one then. And then just uh, shoot from here. I think this one's my. There we go. I'm not really sure she can attack again because I don't know what your special is. Okay, claws. My apologies for the wait, Lord Val. Ross and Queen Company has finally been established. Good. Now I can work on my equipment. As you requested, I've set up a weapon shop, armor shop, and general store. Each character can equip up to one weapon and three equipment items. The general store mostly sells consumables such as healing items, which you should always have in handy. By using equipment, you can customize your fighting style by either focusing on weapons or focusing on armor. Please consult Zombie Junior for more details. Zombie. Z zombie. Zombie. He is an expert in that field. Got it. Let's stock up on equipment and healing items. My lord, one more thing. Please accept these funds. Received 100 hell from Fenric. 100 hell, huh? That's a lot of money. Hmm. Well, we'll be getting more in the near future. As is for my lord. Auto save. We good? Let's heal. Do I get bonuses for healing in this one? I am the Netherworld Nurse. Here I can heal all damage taken in battle in one fell swoop. At the time, I will charge you a little fee depending on your HP and SP that you've recovered. However, you are traded here often. You will be able to receive rewards. Get hurt, just don't get a game over. Okay. Get treated. I think it auto healed me. <laughs> Welcome to Rose and Queen Company. When equipping weapons, I suggest selecting the weapon the character is proficient in. For example, if your choice of weapon is swords and spears, my lord, you may want to start out with swords. Each character has different choices, so check with their status for proficiency with a weapon before buying it. Also remember that unequipping the weapon will remove the ability to use weapon skills, re-equip to use it again. So some skills are specific to certain weapons. In the beginning, concentrate on one weapon to become good at it. For more information about the weapons, you should ask Zami at the base. 
Anything I want, though? Dietitian, marksman, gladiator, I don't know what this means. Can I try it on a character? Ah, there we go. And let's try... Normally, you want to go with something that is... Higher stats. Can I see a side by side? Okay, he normally has the pairing knife on. Okay, I can. Attack is up by 19 and speed is up by 1. I kind of expected it to change over on the right. My bad. It's really expensive compared to what he has, though. Welcome to the Rose and Queen Company. We at the Rose and Queen Company work day and night to provide our customers with a variety of products to make them happy. Our section will change each time you enter the shop. If you don't like the products, you may leave and re-enter. Please enjoy your shopping experience. And so this is the same thing, but with armor. And also get a shield. Can I? Do I have a shield? Good question. How do I open that? There we go. Let's also go to settings really quickly. Just because I feel like background music can be raised a little bit. I can jump? What a goofy little sound effect, though. Can we save here? No. Okay, then. Let's check equipment on Velva Torres. Final cloth, Imperial shield. Can I equip a shield on you? Slippers. Etc. It's considered an etc. I might consider... Dang it! Getting him a shield. Also, even this, even though it's the same item, it can have vastly different stats, so keep that in mind. Some of these are better than others. When in doubt, usually try to go something with a uh, higher hell value. So, 92 weapons are gonna cost... are gonna be better than the 84 ones. Protect your body, but not your pride. I get to wear this during your speech? What's it classify? Etc. Armor. Okay. I don't know what the difference is between sentry, social worker, and dietitian. R101? Doesn't tell me. I don't know what these stats mean. <laughs> Didn't explain them to me. This one has just a wide variety of stuff, so I'll get that one. And we get customer rank. So I guess maybe rewards for shopping. Speed goes down by one, but everything else goes up by a much higher. So I'll stick with it for now. Fists of admits. You call that a weapon? I feel like I should maybe get one for Fenrir then, too. Even though I don't know the difference between the stats, so people who are good at this game are probably going to scream. You two are going to be my main. Okay, 2.30. Gangster and coach. Is the slightly better one. Again. Stats are slightly different. Uh, defense is higher. Attack is 12. Evasion on this one is higher. And remember, you can always give your old stuff to other members. Okay, gotten slightly better equipment. And we're out, fresh out of hell. 
My lord, have you visited the Netherworld nurse yet? Just recover your HP and SP or you'll get beaten to a pulp in battle. Yeah, I'm fine. Please, make sure to save before every battle. You never know what might happen. Fenric, you worry too much. I've been careless with my s careful with my saves, too. I apologize. Since you've forbidden yourself from drinking blood, I've seen how you've lost your powers, and that makes me want to point things out. Ah, uh, I have sardines. They've given me enough power without having to drink blood. Don't work, Fenric. Okay, so can I utilize the doctor now? Ah, okay. So, Fenric, maybe... Oh, do I- did I actually perfectly use my hell? I didn't notice. I have zero money. I perfectly spent it. It says the data shop is still... Save menu. Oh, they moved it. While well, saving, please do not turn off system. I thought that was the save spot. They moved it. Please select a place you'd like to visit. We're going back to Rebels of Hades since it's technically a chapter. Special skill and defense. For this part of the lesson, I will go over special skills and defense. Hey, aye, aye, dude! Special skills can inflict more damage than normal attacks. There are character skills and weapon skills. Character skills can only be used by that character. Weapon skills can only be used by human type units by obtaining special skills. Just ask the ability. Ability shop in Hades later to learn more details about special skills. I'll show you sardine power. Now you shall see it for yourself. I'll demonstrate my unique skill as an example. Okay, go down to special. I'll teach you a lesson. Whoa, Lord Balvatoris, you're so cool, dude! Unlike normal attacks, you can't activate team attacks with special skills, but you can still create combos. Start a combo with normal attack or team attacks, and then add a special skill at the end to be more effective. Now moving on to defense. Defense will decrease the amount of damage that will be inflicted by enemies. You can protect an ally behind you from special skills by using... by selecting defense. Now watch me re receive a special skill as I do a defense in front of Fenric. But where's Fenric? Okay, I was gonna say, is it gonna like have him busy with something and not paying attention? What? What? Sir Fenric didn't take any damage, dude! Lord, you shouldn't have done that for me. If you use the defense system wisely, you'll be able to carry on a battle by protecting your damaged allies. Will my defense range get bigger if I'm trying to protect a cute curl, dude? It's time for battle. Protect the injured and defeat the enemy with your special skills. Hey, dude, so basically we just have to defeat the enemies, right, dude? Do I specifically have to I'll use you a special skills for this? Brace yourself. Okay, we're just gonna set him out in range, more like a lure than. Time to bust some balls. Really? <laughs> so also, instead of leaving it there, I think we can also defend if we know we're not going to be able to get up close enough. I'm gonna do it. I wonder if I can attack with you. No? I can only... Maybe under special for you. Mm, further, technically. Still counts. You, I'm gonna have defend. Can have you defend too. And remember, the attacks go off in the order that you cast them. Everybody team up! I'm curious if for this game it's just having characters on the battlefield that grants you the ability to gain experience. 
because in the first game it was based off of who made the kill, and that was horrible for healers. Oh my goodness. Welcome back, Lord Valvatores. The ability shop has just opened. The ability shop is a place to purchase abilities, special skills, and magic. Purchase? I have to pay for them? Well, pay with mana, to be exact. You will gain mana by defeating enemies. You can purchase new abilities at the ability shop. I'll go ahead and briefly explain explain about the special abilities known as abilities. You can equip two abilities. One should be unique to that unit's job or monster class. In my case, Tyrant Slave is my unique ability. Another ability can be learned through the ability shop by paying mana. Of which I have none. Each ability has a different effect and requires a different amount of mana. That's all from me. You can talk to the, the ability shop for more details regarding abilities. First things first, uh, healing. Get treated. Always get treated first. Probably good. I mean, I can check it out, it's just I doubt it's gonna have anything. You can learn abilities and special skills here. Abilities are special abilities that affect battle. Each class has a unique ability, which helps make the class stand out. That aside, humanoid types can equip one more, and monster types can equip two more. If you pay mana, you can obtain abilities such as poison uh, vaccine or sleep vaccine. Equip abilities that fit well with each character's fighting style. You can also pay mana to learn new skills and spells. Equip abilities and learn the skills that best suit your characters. To start off, try learning skills based off your character's weapon aptitudes. Valvatoris, you're good with swords, so I recommend the lear you learn the skill Blade Rush. It's even in here. Okay, I have 65. Ah, skills are different than abilities. Only 10 mana? Yeah, sure. I guess you get to customize what skills and stuff you want to learn rather than having it be completely class exclusive mega heal. Ooh, that costs a ton though. Oh, but she doesn't have any mana. Mana is specific to character. Oh. Well, that's not good. I'm gonna, I bet mana is obtained by defeating enemies so you can still probably level them up without defeating enemies specifically anymore. That or they created, like, uh, field things you can use, but I am still gonna have to defeat things with the white mage, and that's gonna hurt. <laughs> Range will change by the number stacked. Please select the place you wish to travel to, Lord Valvatores. We're still in the tutorials, lift and throw. This is the thing that was supposed to get crazy in this game. The third part of the lesson is about lift and throw. Sweet, dude! In a real battle, enemies won't always be within your reach. I'll show you sardine power! Just like that, if you're too far from an opponent, your attack isn't going to reach. Do you know what to do in that situation? Move as close as you can to an enemy and then hit in turn, dude! You fool! You'll end up receiving an attack from the enemy on their turn. Use lift and throw in order to reach an enemy that is too far away or on higher ground. I'll teach you a lesson! Brace yourself! Select the lift command to try to lift me up, Fenric. What is with this year for me and throwing vampires? 
Excellent. Now throw me towards the enemy. Is he gonna make it? The circled number is your throwing range. Here it says the limit is five panels, but it all depends on the character. Does it matter how high? Cannot throw up that high, I was gonna say. Hmm. Looks like it's too far to reach, even with the throw. What do we do now, dude? Should we give up an end turn? It's too soon to give up. We might be able to use that box to compensate for the height. Forgive me. Okay, let's use it. Now let's see if this will work. Time to bust some balls. I hate him. <laughs> it's perfect. We got so much closer to the enemy, dude. As a reward for your enthusiasm, allow me to teach you another important technique that will come in handy. Lift a character who is already lifting another character. Can the tower go? Yes. Here I come. Lifting up multiple characters is called making towers in the netherworld. Learn special skills that involve towers at the ability shop and start using powerful tower moves. And that's it. Lift, throw, stack, and tower. Engrave those words into your memory. If you lift multiple units and throw each of them in order, you can move further. That is correct. There are many other useful tactics, but you'll have to figure them out for yourself. I'm counting on you. There are a few things to look out for when using these tactics. You will receive damage if you end your turn while lifting an enemy. Another thing, lifting and throw commands can only be used by human-type units and not by monster-type units. Lastly, you pretties have a tendency of blowing up when you're thrown. That is all. We begin practice with a good opportunity to try different moves. Hi, hi, dude! Are you telling us to try blowing ourselves up too, dude? So... Probably... I don't want to go about this. I want... Everyone, let's go. You to be the one that gets eat. So... Start here. Perish. But now I need characters to throw do it. the other characters. Yoink. Still. And eh, does that count as my one move? It does. I got this. How far can you move? You can move a ways. Lift. <laughs> Yoink. She can probably just hit him from here. And I'll just have the cat out to have, well, the cat out. Actually, no, I don't want you there because you are a monster type, which means you can kind of get in the way. You can just climb up here, though. down. I was not expecting that. Okay. Time for the great tower of weird. Here I come. I got this. Well, I took one, right?
なんだろうI'm so glad that she has a bow now. You have no idea. Really? I can't? How do I... This. And then you... It's not high enough still? Wait a minute! I threw it on top of another character! Still wasn't enough. Damn it! Do I really have to use a box? Y'all are in the way. At this point, the enemy is gonna be like, what is taking so long? To go about. Here I come. I throw them into each other. Is this gonna cause problems? I'm not high enough to get up there. There we go. There we go. effects. This is what I meant about uh, panels. Are you ready for the last part of the lesson? You got it, dude! We're ready! Do you know what the blocks and panels are on the map? They're geo blocks and geo panels, dude! Geo panels are pieces of land that possess spiritual elements, the building blocks of the netherworld, dude! Geo blocks are the crystallized version of the spiritual elements. That's why our textbook said, dude! That's correct. I'm using these geo blocks and panels for the last part of your lesson. One of the most effective fighting tactics is geo effects. Geo effects is the general term used to represent the effects caused by geo panels and blocks. Now look at the colored panels, the geo panels on the map. Do you see on top of the blues on the screen where it says blue panel enemy boost plus 50%? Yeah, you don't want to fight them if they're standing on that. That means when an enemy is on top of the blue panel, the enemy's attack and defense stats increase by 50%. It's important to note that this boost is only effective on enemies. Absolutely. This is a big disadvantage to us. In this case, what should we do, Prinnies? I'll destroy the blocks, dude! I'd move the enemy off the panel by throwing them, dude! I'd lure the enemy off the panel before I fight him, dude! As expected of you, Prinnies, who have been raised with great care. You're all too smart to be Prinnies. However, there is another better way. You can destroy all of the Geo panels at once if you use this tactic. Let me teach you the way. Pay attention to this Geo block. 
It says geoblock change green, dude. Change green means that when this geoblock is destroyed, the green panels on it will change to the color green. For example, if you destroy the change green block on top of a blue panel, all other blue panels will change to green panels. Don't forget, well, while the panels are changing colors, all allies, enemies, and blocks on those panels will receive damage. Okay, dude, so we can destroy geo panels by changing these colors? Clever. These color changing blocks aren't enough to destroy the panels. You will also need a null block. That is the null geo block. Do you see how it says geo block null? It's currently sitting atop a red panel. All the other red panels will be destroyed if you are able to destroy that null block. By using this tactic. I get it, dude! All I gotta do is destroy the null block after changing all the panels to the same color. That's correct, you figured it out. Conveniently enough, all of the blocks and panels on this map have been placed so that it's a perfect clear can be easily demonstrated. To practice, use your creativity and knowledge to solve the map. Okay, dude. It's better for beginners to just change the color one at a time until all the panels are the same color, right, dude? You'll also fill more of the bonus gauge by changing colors and nulling the panels. With more bonus, you'll obtain greater bonus items after clearing the map. Now get to it and do it as if your lives depend on it. I wish I could get more sardines rather than bonuses, which are we're getting sardines as bonuses. Anyway, this is your final lesson. I wish you all good luck. Hey, hey, dude! You want sardines too, dude? Everyone, let's go! Here I come! Alright, so it wants me to throw it over here, I'm assuming. Yeah. Boink. Forgive me. Remember, we don't want to actually I got this. be standing on this yet. We're just gonna casually defend. I'm putting you ahead. If only to take the damage. I'll save Uber for now. Prinnies have been successfully lured. Alright, Uber, let's get out. Fire uses six, and we have... These are executed randomly, I'm afraid. Here goes the panel change. Okay, should change all to red. Final barrier goes goodbye. To set up easy indeed due to being a tutorial. And we get bonus of bonuses for leveling up and stuff, which is apparently highly recommended. Can't reach him. Gonna have to just go and Say hello. How far can your special go out? Not far enough. Come on, kitty.
upstairs. Like, is going on in these stage clear finishing artworks. Oh, no, 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 no. Do not skip event. Here's a message to all of you pretties. You finally completed all of my lessons. No matter what kind of masters you might serve, never forget your pride at being pretties from Hades. And lastly, keep in mind that any fool who messes up and gets sent back to Hades We'll be met with a brutal rehabilitation program. Aye, aye, dude! Now that's the kind of response I like to hear. Allow me to fulfill the promise that I made to you. You shall each receive one sardine. They were raised naturally, freshly caught this morning. Do we not feed these things? <laughs> Making such a ruckus over a single sardine. These prinnies have been well deprived by our lord. I was gonna say. Now, prinnies, enjoy your sardine and go work hard under your future mess. I think you're being pretty napped. Looks like we still have reserve printies. I feel like I have a very Yandere uh, werewolf servant here. Okay, I'm probably also gonna wanna upgrade a few things. I don't have a whole lot of hell. But. I also don't want to face the repercussions of my actions. I'm just gonna get a pot lid for sure. Give that to Jeepers Creepers here. Raise my team stats a bit. Wanna be X. Nope. Not bad. Any better ones? Uh, yes and no. I don't know if I would call that better. All wooden stuff. Who uses these bows? I know who uses the bow. I'm assuming she has a makeshift bow equipped. She does. I also think it shuffles every time you come in and out, so don't look at something and be like, Oh, that'll be better for when I come back, because it may not be there. Give yourself super FOMO. Question is, do I want better weapons or do I want better... Okay, defense 14. Oh, 
please have negative two. Reroll. Hmm. Fine. Make sure everybody gets at least one. Because it might make the difference between living and dying. It's for Barbara, what can you even... Sardine bone, that's what you have equipped. Monster weapon, which is a little different. Pog gloves would be the next level up. Want more HP or do I want more? Let's go with hog gloves. save, because I feel like there could be a boss fight coming up. And in case I mess it out, I can always edit it out. Rehabilitation room. Reincarnation site. Keep in mind, you can always go back to older levels for leveling. Finally here, Brenny Instructor. Aren't you from Disgaea too? Watch your mouth. What do you think helped your worthless vampire teeth after you lost all your power? Before you start acting all pretty instructory, you should think carefully about your place here. Those damn frennies! That's not asking, that's ordering! And you're not being polite at all! I'm the Warden of Hades! I control everything around here. If you keep that attitude up, don't think I won't lock you up too. I only want to keep the promise I made to the prince. I have no intention of defying your power. Just shut up and give it back. Why don't you get it? I'm not giving the pretties back to you. What did you say? Are you telling me to break the promise that I made to the pretties? You, you don't scare me. I've been through much worse and survived to get where I am now. I'm Warden Axel. Axel, you creep. Why can't you just calm down for a bit? My lord simply wishes to keep the promise he made to the Prinnies. Don't you understand that? If you dare to refuse us, then we'll have to resort to violence to force you to understand. Agreed! He who doesn't understand words must be given physical discipline. Prepare yourself, Warden Axel. You will learn that I have no intention of disobeying you. Yep, it's sort of a boss fight. I'll show you sardine power. We're gonna get totally ganged up on, so let's get a wall going here. I'll start with attacking him. Time to bust some balls. Though as is, I'm just trying to build a defensive barrier. I got this. I'm just gonna put you here. Hold the line. Actually, let's. Does it not matter which direction I'm facing anymore? Used to be that was a thing. Maybe it's not anymore. I'm gonna do it. Be in the back. Huh. All right, this. ready to go. How did 
you get around the wall? You can walk past characters, or is there a... There's a blind spot, isn't there? The counter counter attack. you first. It's kind of a cluster, but whatever works. damage to him. Attack zone obstructed? By what? Oh, they need to be two away. Weird, but I'll acknowledge it. Still obstructed? How? Attack zone obstructed. But what? Your fight is with me. I'll move me way over there. Range will be changed by the number stacked. Ooh, people are in the range of that though. Guess I'll just do a regular attack. Close him off so he has to go around at the very least. Okay, that hit him. There we go. I was worried that maybe he was gonna be an event boss and too good gracious. Too strong to actually uh, take on. No, I do not wish to skip events. Stop asking me for that. So, you understand? I have no intention of disobeying you whatsoever. Didn't you just beat the crap out of me? I may not be the sharpest tool in the shed, but don't most folks consider that disobedience? My only wish is to stay true to my word. Now, give me back the prinnies. Sorry, but that's a no-can-do. Because that's the Corruptorman's will! What? The Corruptorman? What could they possibly be up to? Oh, that? Mass extermination of the Prinnies! You get it, right? The rapid increase in the Prinny population is starting to be a major problem all over the Netherworld. Food shortages, unemployment, Noise complaints, increased accident rates, overpopulation, <laughs> decreased test scores? These are all the Prinny's fault. The Corruptor Men has organized a special task force to get rid of them. The Abaddon, a band of assassins brought together and under the command of none other than the Netherworld President himself. <laughs> I've heard of them before. They're netherworld cleaners, getting rid of the Corruptorman's rubbish. <laughs> That's right, and you'll be jobless and broke once all the frennies are gone. What about the sardines? What should I do with all the sardines I promised to give them? I don't see what the problem is. What's the point of feeding creatures that are about to be extinct? Feeding them isn't the point, you narrow-minded fool! The promise has already been made! I keep my promise. No one gets the Prinnies. I don't care if you're the Corruptor Men or, or even the President. Please calm down, my lord. 
It's dangerous to carry on in your usual moronic fashion while confronting the corruptiment. What is this? Is my faithful servant scared of a mere corruptiment? Yes. Not even. But I do have a mission of my own. And in order to complete it, I can't afford to lose you in a fight over such an insignificant matter, my lord. So you're telling me to obey them, and to break the promise I made? All is for my lord. Poppycock! How many times do I have to tell you that for a demon, breaking a promise isn't... I am fully aware of your noble yet ultimately futile philosophy. However, please, think back about all of the things that you've lost just to keep the promises that you've made in the past. If only you let go of that futile philosophy of yours, you would be back on your throne as the invincible tyrant in no time. Let's not talk about that. Now come, Fenric, before the prinnies are disposed of. Good news, Lord Valvatorez. The campaign HQ has been established just for you. Campaign HQ? I'm not trying to run for president. Isn't that a bit much? Hmm, is that so? It's always better to be safe than sorry. All is for my lord. Yeah, if the printings are all destroyed, then there will be no souls to reincarnate. Good morning, Lord Valvatoras. I have established the campaign HQ as requested by Sir Fenric. I'll show you around the HQ when you're ready, shall we? This is the campaign HQ, my lord. This is the place where powerful demons plan to strategize their journey to the top. It's a very important place. I will explain all the functions here, so please take a look at the map. This is the map of the entire netherworld. One day, you will rule over all of this. Rule? I'm just a pretty instructor. I don't want to rule anything. Hmm. You're very modest, my lord. You'll surely rule the netherworld someday. In other words, this is a future representation of the netherworld. All this land will be yours, my lord. As long as we keep winning battles, these areas will truly become your lands. Is that decision even ours to make? I fear you as my steward. I shall take that as a compliment, my lord. Oh, and just so you know, once you actually rule an area, it will become even more useful for you, so please rule more lands, my lord. Now, allow me to explain further. Place the units that you have created in the areas of the map. Use the Dispatch Evil Deputy command to place your units on the areas. The command can be accessed by pressing X to open the Campaign HQ menu. You can dispatch one of your ally members as the Evil Deputy to the different lands. You can check up on the brightened areas on the map. These are the virtual areas where you can place your units. The chance of a team attack will increase if you place two allies next to each other. You can only place one unit on each land. In order to create a new unit, you will need to open land, so keep that in mind. Now we'll go ahead and explain the Senate hearings. In the Netherworld, some wishes can come true through Senate hearings. Please select the command, Senate hearings. We will go ahead and submit a bill. Lana is also needed in order to do so. Once you've selected a topic, the Senate hearing will begin. To have your bill passed, you need more eye eyes than nays. What if more senators disagreed? Do we simply give up? Not always. If you're confident enough, you can always win the vote through force. <laughs> Which, <laughs> that's uh, goodbye democracy. Look at you, this doesn't look like it's going to be easy. Dispatch deputy. So I'm assuming... Got a lot of people where I kind of want them to be already, so... Maybe remove the printies up or something. Oh, I can actually move move. Select like panel to move. I'm good though. So you want me to move here? I'm confused. Good lord. Open seat. I have no idea what it wants me to do all of a sudden. Cause the session. Change name, reincarnation. Reincarnate the character and start over from level one. It's maybe if you really, really mess up a character. Change item name. 
What? <laughs> Place a cheat shop on the base. Embezzle contributions. <laughs> Have Fenric act separately from you in the base. So I can create new characters. Okay. Deifu lives for treasure hunting. Level for level, no one steals better. Weapons are bows and guns. Innocent magician girl efficiently uses SP, many skills and magic. Weapon is staff. So these are the other uh, mages. You can get different elements. Is there any... Yeah, slightly higher SP on the girls. And the boys get slightly higher hit. Hmm. Not really sure which of those would be... Wait, your intelligence stat's also higher. That's... I'll take that as a slight insult, but... The fruit fly on my face. So we can choose different ones. Eventually you're probably going to be discarding characters since we're going to be creating characters. You can start at good for nothing, which is a negative five bonus. I recommend avoiding that if possible. Start at least at incompetent for E, but we're going to be recreating characters at A anyways. Personality. I uh, see it's choose a voice. Just go with random. And we get a special stat that we can put anywhere. I'm just gonna put an SP. And now a word from your newest senator. There. The false news spread is the wind. Your dumbness that of, is that of the forest. In hospitality and charity like fire. There. Stack treasure like a mountain. And that, my friends, is how I rose through the ranks to gain untold political power. But little did I realize just how dreadful, frightful, and nightmarish the duties of another world senator truly were. There. Well, now there's no escape now. We'll do our very worst to make you feel welcome. Can I leave now? And apparently we're already all healed up, so we're good. Question is, will I be strong enough to do it? Pranalestin room. Hmm. My position and leadership abilities will be put into question if this continues. All of my effort will be a total waste if that happens. I gotta take control of this situation before those fools really get out of hand. Huh? You, read the Warden of Hades? If, yes, sir. I am Axel, the Warden of Hades. I was personally appointed by the President. We are the President's Special Assassination Task Force. Have you been briefed on the current situation? Yeah, of course. To make your jobs easier, I gathered all those worthless pieces of garbage into one area. Barbecue, boil, broil, bake, saute, do whatever you want to them. Great. I'm glad you're making this easier for us. That's the Assassination Task Force, also known as the Abaddon. I hope they're as powerful as their namesake. their wings by flying too close to the fire oh no is this gonna be a second boss fight in a row the special task force they're the anarchists who are trying to stop the pretty extermination over here please exterminate all the annoying rats too hmm. as you wish wait 
doing? I know demons do things differently down here, but this doesn't we seem quite an planned. anonymous tip about possible anarchist activity. About a warden whose love for prunies has driven him to public expressions of dissent against the corrupterment. You've already confessed, said you were aware of the situation, and were eager for us to enforce the punishment. What? No, that's not what I meant. <laughs> Is this your doing? You! How dare you do this to me? You threw everything you said out of context. It's so admirable of you, Warden. You've been strict, but you actually care a lot about the prinnies. Oh, I am humbled by your overwhelming love for the prinnies. I'm so ashamed for thinking otherwise of you. Is that right? I never suspected that you cared so much about the prinnies. Warden, I accept and understand your passion toward the prinnies. Now you're just going to get us in trouble too. Therefore, it has been decided. The Warden is an anarchist. Ah, no! Wait, stop! Ah, help me! What shall we do, my lord? He appears to be in need of our assistance. Is there even any doubt? We can't possibly forsake a man of such passion. Oh, I he's so dumb. To say that. Place. Let us fight together, Ward and Axel, to release the Prinnings and for their promise, the sardines. Maybe he really should eat something more than fish. He needs something to uh, fuel his brain. Oh my. Uh, experience plus 50. But also, I don't know if it's worth it. I'll show you. Here I come. Sorry, Axel. Yeah. Brace yourself. Nothing personnel, kid. now. And I'm not liking that. Blocks are yellow. None. <laughs> it has the ability to go off, but staying contained. Should I just... I have a feeling that to move further, but I'm also terrified. Yeah. Oh, you're not letting me. Ah. Thank you.
Okay, they're not lifting and throwing. Thank God. Oof. Oh, I didn't see that there. Let's move all the ways away. Kitty is gonna eat it. Ah, uh, it has to be in the blue, and the yellow needs to be available. I see now. Zero? No! Let's move over here. Not especially yet. These might technically be too high level for me. It's really close to the other one, but I know that it'll follow me nonetheless. Oh no, it pushed him back! I didn't realize! At least it's lowering the defense somewhat when I'm doing this. Heal you. You're gonna have to attack. Just so you know, we are subordinates of the Warden. We're not allowed to disobey his orders. It's the only reason we fought. Be sure to include that in your report to your superiors. What? No, no, no! This is a mistake! <laughs> Good old plausible deniability. Well now, that must have been the Abaddon scouting crew. What shall we do now, my lord? Attack the Abaddon main forces! We will keep fighting for the release of the Prennies! <laughs> His tyrant blood is starting to boil for the first time in ages. How absolutely delightful. I'm very curious what he gets out of this. Let's hurry before the Corruptorment receives word about the Warden's Rebellion. Y you're right! We can't let them find out. Wait! I didn't do anything wrong! Where Naxo was forced to join the party, but he's so weak, I didn't get to finish reading that. Ooh. I am going to... heal first, thank you very much. Is he in here? I don't see him. He might not be part of the main crew, he might just be in the overworld area. I don't see him. To be fair, I also didn't see what it said, so... Let's save. And then I might also do some level grinding in between, just because that battle was cut pretty close.
Okay, I'll try the Albatross Collar, but I don't know. Bonus rank 2, clear count 1, defeated. Doesn't tell me how strong it is. Impudent weld. Listen up, rascal. This place is about to become the historical site of a bloody battle. You should leave before you get hurt. You idiots! Don't you know who I am? No. I'm Death Amizel. I am the Abaddon Commander. I'm in charge of the assassination task force run by the president. I'm also his one and only son. The blood of the greatest lineage in the netherworld flows through my veins. Now kneel before a measle. What? The president's son? This is my chance. Say what now? You're the president's son? Please forgive us for our rudeness. Allow me to kneel before you. I'll even lick your high tops. Bruh. Seriously. Hey, what's wrong with you? Why aren't you groveling on your knees like this time? You can even figure that out for yourself? I suppose I can spare the time to explain it to you. Your father is the Netherworld president because he earned it with his own power and abilities. It has nothing to do with you. Your prestigious bloodline comes from your ancestors' efforts. It has nothing to do with you. That being said, I have no reason to prostrate myself before you. That's the reason. <laughs> that was a bit harsh. He is a mere well. Absolutely not! There are only two things in this entire world that I fear. Small sardine bones that get stuck in my gums and breaking promises. The president is neither one of them. <sighs> that is fair, I do hate fish bones. Hmm. The enemies are acting weird. We should watch them for a while. I'll show you. Wait, it's auto going. I'm not doing this. Boink. Oh, there's that monster fusion I was talking about. Huh? What the hell is that? It's a giant monster, and the other one has become a weapon. Magic change and demon fusion, special commands that can only be used by monster type units. With these commands, monster type units will become more useful and will broaden our battle tactics. Magic change is when a human type unit equips a monster type unit that's morphed into a weapon. This time, Sardine Thief Cat Saber will go ahead and show us magic change. Have the cat saber select the magic change command and choose the partner to magic change with. And with that, our cat becomes a gun. Just like that, Sardine Thief Cat Saber has turned into a very convenient weapon. What weapon the monsters will turn into depends on their race, so you should also keep that in mind for strategy purposes. The power of the magic change weapon depends on the monster's stats. The stronger the monster, the stronger the weapon will be. Well, let's try attacking. We'll actually use a special skill that's only available during magic change. The 
following are the advantages of magic change. Temporarily use of monster's ability, magic change skills become available, both characters gain experience. The disadvantages is that there's a time limit. It can only be used for six turns, and the two units count as one. After the time limit is up, the character who magic changed will disappear and won't be able to fight again in the same battle. But after that, a slot for the dispatched units will open up again, allowing you to dispatch another unit in place of it. The monster character that disappeared will come back after the battle ends, so no need to worry. Rest assured, my lord. If the human type unit with the magic change weapon is defeated during battle, both units will be considered KO, so please care be careful. I never thought monster type units could be such useful tools. Hmm. All you have to do now is level up your monster allies and make them learn the skill. Now, moving on to Demon Fusion. Demon Fusion is done when multiple monster type units unite with one another. Demon Fusion can be done with monsters of the same or different races. We'll use two of Prinny's this time. First move, one Prinny. Next move, the second Prinny to the first Prinny. Select the fusion command and choose a partner to fuse with. There you have it. Two printies have become a single giant printy. I see, so this is demon fusion. Demon fusion also has advantages and disadvantages, my lord. Fusion's consuming SP in every turn. When a unit's SP reaches zero, the fusion will end. Fuse monsters take up five panel spaces in the shape of a cross. Again, please keep track of your SP. If one of the fused monsters has already moved, they will not be able to move again. Same goes for using skill or attacks. Since they take up more space, they're easier targets for enemies. That's only natural, my lord. A fused monster can blow away a unit in the destination point of its movement. This can also be used as an advantage, depending on how you use it, since the effect is the same for allies and enemies. The biggest advantage of Demon Fusion is that you gain a wider range of attack. Uh, I'm kind of worried that that's going to detonate me. Without Demon Fusion, this attack's range is only one panel. After the fusion, the range has become three panels. The same goes for both special and normal attacks. On top of it, if you use Magic Change with the Demon Fusion, What'll happen? That'll be a surprise, my lord. Please try it out for yourself sometime. <laughs> now I can't wait. Interesting. I'll try it out, no matter what it takes. All is for my lord. Because you can turn it into an even bigger weapon. Ally boost, plus 50%. I don't know if I want to destroy this one. Blue, defense plus 50%, but that's for everything on the field. Huh... Red currently has none. But also, if they destroy that, it's gonna mess my day up something bad. I'll teach you a lesson. Wait, where was the... I forget where the fusion was for that. It said magic change, but I didn't see it in the end. I got this. Where's... Fen? There we go. Like Fen Fen. I've lost Fen Fen. Here I come. One of these is gonna have a gun. There they go. Just 
let's get our characters attacking first. Yes. Oh wait, that's not... That's his. <laughs> I'm so dumb. Do that last. I wish I had a better idea of when those were going to go off. Nothing. technically went. <gasps> what the? Did he kick the cat? I think he kicked the cat. kill to be going for him when I'm in this position, but... I'm gonna do it. This is gonna do nothing, but still. We have to try. myself vulnerable. I don't like that. Oh. Maybe if I stand here. I know I'm really close to the target, but... I'll probably move him in turn now. Zero. Oof. Pretty commando. Hmm. 
Pretty fusion. God damn, son. Wait, who did I hit? Okay, I'm hitting. Did it say his name was Bladder? Yeah, I thought it was Balder, but no, it's Bladder. Did you guys take it easy? I'm starting to run out of heals here. with the chests. Do they have HP? I'm assuming so? Blue defense plus 50. Everybody get off blue. Fails, I can throw the printy. Wait, can it move here? Oh, but I can attack from here? I didn't know that. Treasure. I'm not gonna shoot through him, am I? I hope not. Stage killer, no leveling required. Cap, I didn't level up at all. <laughs> My lord's strength is unquestionable. That's because he is the sardine. I'm the sardine. Say what? 
King of the Sardines. The secret to my power. It's the sardines. Eat them. You will get stronger as well. I have a bunch of mini units that gang up on the big unit. What are you talking about? Why would I eat sardines? You dumb bastard! I hate fish! Damn it! Let's get back to the main force! Listen up! This ain't over! I'll get you next time for sure! You got that? Oh, next time! Oh. That was a picture-perfect loser call-out. Simply exquisite. Oh no! My only opportunity! We've upset the president's son! He was really pissed! <laughs> I can't believe those powerless blowhards were actually appointed to the president's special task force. They have an ominous sounding name, but as far as I could tell, they're just babysitters for that insufferable brat. Oh, the Netherworld has become quite a tepid place while I was away. It's rather disappointing. still have no idea how much this netherworld has fallen. That is why you must now take over the netherworld. Because he's going to put me on the seat of power. For my lord. That's it for now, dude. You can purchase the full game on the eShop, dude. I didn't get to see what the rest of what he said was, but that is apparently it for... Disgaea 4, A Promise Unforgotten. And yes, that is the, the original name, even though it's now changed to Complete Plus due to additional content on newer systems. But it was fun. A little weird. A little wacky. A little nonsensical. Kind of overran with the sardine joke. But uh, fun nonetheless. Good little grindy strategy game if you want something in between other playthroughs. So definitely would recommend checking it out at the very least. I enjoyed my time with it. But with that, this is where I'm going to call it for this video. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, please like and subscribe. And I hope to see you all in the future. Bye bye.